Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So I thought in today's video I would actually show you how I reduce those eye circles, the dark eye circles. Now we're going to start with a couple of exercises and then finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage release. Now, first things first, I do like to sit down um, with my feet on the ground and my shoulders back and you want your back in nice alignment. You don't want to be hunched over and you want them just nice and relaxed, no tension in the face. I also like to make sure that my fingers are nice and clean and that my face is nice and clean. Now, we're going to be using a spoon for this exercise and one with a spoon and one with our fingers. So first of all I do like to use some form of slip because we don't want to be dragging and compromising the skin. So I've just got here some rosehip oil. You could use a serum or a cream is fine and just a couple of drops. I do like to use organic if you can and preferably plant-based. So if you can just warm it up in the fingers and then just place it gently under the eyes and above. And then just by the side of the ear and the back of the neck. Let me just press that in. Now the first exercise I'm going to do is with the spoon. Now this spoon has been in the freezer for only about five minutes. You could put it into a fridge for a bit longer depending how cold you want it. By using something cold as a compress, if you like, it does actually help um, sort of shrink and the dilated veins under the eyes. Um, that will really help with the dark circles and the puffiness. And because we've added some form of slip onto under our eyes, it's not going to be sticking there. So I just like to place it just under here just where the bone is and then just slowly move it across with, with the spoon. Place it and go slowly across with the spoon and again just work all the way out with the cold spoon and then we're just going to do the other side of the face. Again place it down onto the bone and just slowly move it across almost like a motion of just moving it down and away. And then we're going to go just here, just above between the eye, almost where the, um, where the two brows meet. You could go more in the middle. And then just go across again. If you want to, you can take deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then we'll go across on this side. This also helps relax any tension within the face. And then one last time, again with the spoon, again just hold down and just go across. And again release and go across. Now when you do have dark circles and puffiness, um, it can be genetics, it could be lifestyle, what you eat if you have too much sugar or salt. You may be just even dehydrated, so drinking plenty of water really does help. Again, hold down and go across. Also, lack of sleep. If you know, really important to get between seven to nine hours a night. And when you're sleeping, try to make sure that your head is slightly elevated. If you're laying flat, then you know it's just all going to stagnate, if, if you like, um, within the face and under the eyes. Whereas if you're slightly elevated and you're on a pillow, everything's going to drain. So you're going to have less puffiness and less dark circles. And then we just go across one last time. Now, the second exercise I'm going to do is with our ring finger just here, we're just going to tap. First of all, I'm just going to start here and just tap away and work our way outwards. 
and then just literally to the temples and then I'm going to start here and then again just work our way outwards and again keep tapping and work our way outwards this is really good again helps just release any toxins and I'm going to do it one last time underneath now you can do this two or three times a day um, particularly in the morning I tend to find you have more dark circles and puffiness after sleeping as I say everything sort of stagnates so it's good to just get things moving and last time at the top here Then once we've done those exercises with the spoon and also with the tapping, I like to actually do a final drainage release. So what I'd like to do is just take my, my index finger and just very, very lightly brush across because this is so fine. It's that one of the finest under the eyes is one of the finest parts of the skin on the body. So you don't want to be dragging and pulling. So just very, very lightly, just move across like so, very lightly. And we can just do this four or five times. And then above the eyes, just under the eyebrow, and then above the eyebrows. And then we're gonna to get to the ears here and if you can just slowly give that a massage, small circular motions. This is now actually helping just release any toxins we've been moving in the face. Now at this point you may want to swallow. And then work our way down to the side of the ear and the back of the ear. So I always want to swallow when it comes to this point. And then again, in circular motions to the back of the neck. Again, just give that a nice massage. And then with our hands, we want to go in a downward motion from the back of our neck to the collarbone, just either side of the middle, just here. So if you take our fingers and just very lightly, because the lymph is very close to the surface of the skin, and just slightly in a feather like motion, just push and go down towards the collarbone. And then from our chin all the way down either side on the collarbone here, you just want to give those a few presses. What this will do, this will release any toxins, anything we've been moving around in the face and under the eyes into the body ready for elimination. So again, I hope you found this useful and I really hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.